Um, this evening I'm making a bit of a mishmash, mixed up banana bread pudding. Um, I'm not sure really what I'm doing. I just had an idea today, influenced by um, a recipe I used to know when I lived in Switzerland called schnackli. But it's not really schnackli because that's loaded with calories, nuts and cream and everything, but this is the watered down version of it. So I'm using the bread instead of pastry. I haven't, couldn't find my um, cling film, so I'm just using the packet it came in. Just flatten the bread slightly. I've already prepared those there. So next job is to prepare a filling. I'm going to use bananas. I wish these a little bit riper, but it is what it is. And I really wanted to make this recipe because it was on my mind. So we're doing it. <laughs> so um, I'm just going to mash up the banana. So it's sort of creamy. Then I'm going to grate in some orange. Where's my little grater gone? Oh, there it is. My favourite little grater this is. Then needs a little bit. Just a little, that's it, that'll do. Don't want it over pairing, just want a little bit in. And then I'm going to sprinkle in a bit of mixed spice. Maybe half a teaspoon or so. And a little drop of vanilla essence. A little sprinkling of cinnamon, oops. Not too much, just a bit. And I've got these, uh, Vanilla beans. I um, can't remember the name of them actually. <laughs> I'll look it up and post it later. What are they called, dear? Tonka. Tonka beans, thanks, hun. Handy having your husband assisting in the kitchen. A better memory than I've got. Uh, tonka beans are really lovely. They can be used in uh, spicy food or sweet food. And it's got quite an unusual uh, vanilla y flavour. The longer you leave it infused into a recipe, the more intense the flavour gets. You don't really need a lot, just a little bit. So um, I'm going to mesh that around. It smells nice. And I've weighed out 20 grams of raisins here, they're going in. Okay, so I'm just going to scoop some of that into the bash down bread. And somehow attempt to roll it. <laughs> I'm making these up as I go along. Is this sharp, knife sharp enough, Darren? Cutting board. Cutting board. Am I getting shouted at? <laughs> okay. So a little bit of uh, light spray in the dish, pop it in, like a pinwheel shape aren't they? I noticed a lot of pinwheel uh, recipes going around at the moment for Christmas. Uh, I'm trying to make mine as low points as possible. Um, I'll get a chopping board so husband doesn't cry. No crying Darren. <laughs> a bit more filling. Roll it up. Ooh, I've got that all way. Should get about four out of there. Ooh, that one's popping out a little bit. Rescue that in a minute. Oh, you're not allowed to fall over. There you go. Oh, it's all going wrong again. Okay, trying to stand it up a little bit. There we go, those should support each other. One more. I'm sure 
some of you people might be able to do a better job than I'm doing. <laughs> I'm doing my best. Maybe if we go the other way, it'll be longer. Spread it out a little bit. No, that way be the same shape then. Knife. I need to get someone to sharpen my knives. They're not very good. <laughs> I'm getting told off here. <laughs> I haven't got that in very well, have I? Okay, try and pop this last one in with a bit more filling on. Okay. That'll do. So, what's next? Okay, so my idea was to break into my dish two eggs. Sprinkling a sweetener. Should need too much because the banana is quite sweet. And roughly 200 grams of milk. What's it with my fork? There it is. back in here because I want to be able to control how it goes over my um, bread. It's going to be interesting if this works out. That should do. Okay. I'm just a little bit more. Okay, that's it. So um, I've baked that till it's set. So I anticipate that to take roughly 25 minutes. A little sprinkle of cinnamon on the top. Um, I know what I'm going to do. Quickly wear five grams of almonds. I've got the points left. So I think I deserve it. <laughs> it's been a long week. <laughs> okay, almonds. Just five grams. Five grams goes quite a long way in a little recipe. Let's just say five grams, that's fine. Sprinkle them on top. They should toast beautifully. I'm really looking forward to trying this little experiment. Now this could be adapted with fruit, any fruit, mince meat. You could put grated apple in the mix. You could decide you can decide what to do to fill your bread. Also, you could use Warburton's Thins, you could do uh, Weight Watcher Tortilla Wraps, um, anything that will roll and you can fill it and slice it and get those beautiful little pinwheel shapes. I'll update you with the photograph later and let you know how it turns out.